Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex, and we're back in the kitchen with Sensodyne. They've sent us another awesome recipe. Yes, today we are going to be making ice cream cookie sandwiches. This sounds amazing. It really does sound amazing. And I don't know about you guys, but I personally think ice cream cookie sandwiches takes ice cream to the next level but it also takes cookies to the next level for like the perfect little pairing yeah because the cookie goes kind of like soft and chewy yeah and the ice cream kind of melts in the oh, middle oh i love lovely. it it's delicious and this is one of those foods that can be really hard for people with sensitive teeth which is why we've teamed up this week with sensodyne sensodyne is specifically designed for people with sensitive teeth and provides long lasting protection for people with sensitive teeth so we're going to start with a super simple ice cream recipe today we've got some double cream we're gonna pour that into a bowl I've got my suey back in the kitchen yeah I'm back Kate's pleased to have someone to assist her in the kitchen I noticed that when we do these recipes yeah. with you in I actually don't do much of you the... don't do anything at all <laughs> if you go back and watch the last three of these videos we've done Kate almost does nothing she just stands there going Alex do this now <laughs> do this now I'm finally at like... the stage where I can just say yeah. what to do yeah so you can now pour that uh, cream into a yeah, bowl sure. To sweeten that up nicely, we're not actually adding any sugar, but we've got some condensed milk oh, going cool. in. I absolutely love this stuff. It adds a really nice creamy, sweet texture and taste. And then finally, to give that some more flavor, we're gonna add in some vanilla extract. And then do you wanna go ahead yeah, and do the beating? Yeah, the good stuff. <laughs> That's why... You're the That's why I cook not... on my own. Yeah. <laughs> That's I... what happens when you get an unexperienced sous chef. Okay, so you don't actually want to be beating that for too long. You just yeah. want to beat until it's thick and fairly stiff. And I would say that was done, wouldn't you? I would say that's fairly stiff. Yeah, so let's just get a little stir that... around. And then what we're going to do is pop it into um, that Tupperware box. And that is literally the ice cream done. I didn't know ice cream was so easy I to know. make. I know. Well, there are like harder versions, yeah. but this is quick easy pop it in and you'll have it done in a few yeah, hours that's so good there you that go was better. that was good Whee! okay I'm so learning. tupperware box there yeah tupperware pot i'll hold it for you so it doesn't fall just flatten spread that around a bit. a bit flatten it out oh wow <laughs> what you're so like rough and in there straight away yeah <laughs> I haven't got no time for messing around. Everybody got time for that. What, are you going to leave it like that? Yeah, what's wrong with that? <laughs> I want to get my offset spatula and get my... Uh... Really? You want it that yeah. flat? Yeah. Oh, it tastes like ice cream already. That's amazing. Yeah. Do you no, know what? I realised I haven't good. got this time. What? I haven't got my... Oh, yeah. Here we go. There the we thing go. is, you could put this in the freezer or you could just... Eat it now. No. Not want a little lick? Oh, that's what I've just had uh, a lick. That's why I said it already tastes like ice cream. Mm, it's so good. Okay, on the recipe card, got a little trick here. They say pop some cling film on top of that ice cream and then put the top up. And what's that I'm do? wondering if that's going to stop. You know how like sometimes it crystallizes ices on oh, top? Yeah. So I think that might keep it nice yeah. and dry inside there. There you go, madam. And we're just going to press that down, fill that out. Oh, that feels so nice. So nice, isn't it? I feel like we could do one of those slime videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that feels really good. I don't know if it's just me, but that kind of makes me want to put my face in it. They feel so nice, yeah. doesn't it? And it so feel cooling. Like relaxing and cooling. Like a face mask. Yeah. Then that just needs to go in the freezer for a couple of hours until that's set. Um, and the good thing, though, I made one last night, so we don't even need to wait. It's like a real cooking show. So while that is in the freezer, we're gonna get ahead and make the chocolate chip cookies. Now, good thing is, maybe not so good for you. What? Guess what chips they are? Chocolate. White chocolate! Yeah, but that's okay, because it's, it, it's, it's a, a chocolate, chocolate cookie. cookie. Yeah. There's a sauce. I never saw there was there a, sauce a sauce before. I just saw the cookies. I didn't see the sauce. So I'm so excited because that makes it even more decadent. You know, it? Sensodyne are bringing it to the table. Yeah. There's not one recipe, not two. There are three. And I think all three are going to come together and make a really delicious treat. To download the Sensodyne recipe card and recreate it yourself at home, visit the link we'll leave down below. Yeah, and if you do, shoot us a photo on Instagram. Yeah. We'd love to see We'd it. love to see them. Okay, Suey. <laughs> I'm literally going to go on, Suey. 
<laughs> okay, so for the cookies, break up the plain chocolate. I've already done that for you. And we're gonna gently melt that with some butter. Uh, to save up on washing, I've got a bowl over a pan of simmering water. And then that way we can mix all of the ingredients together. Butter, ours is pretty much soft, um, so it won't take very long to melt. Oh, it's so soft, I can't even get it off. Do you wanna start heating that yeah. up? So this has melted down really nicely. It's gone really nice and smooth. There's not loads here, so it will go quite quickly. Yeah. So just be careful you don't overdo it. Next, we're gonna pour in some condensed milk. This is actually the second half of the tin. So oh, that's, that's amazing. Cool. So there's no leftover condensed milk. So you're not milk. left with half a tin no. thinking, what shall I do with exactly. this? Exactly. We're just gonna pour that in, stir it around, and then take that off the heat. That looks so nice. It does, doesn't, doesn't it? look it? like one of those little things where you get a little biscuit and you dip it in oh, and you eat yeah, it. Oh yeah, with the stick. Yeah. Yeah, that looks so with good. With the mix like milk and white. Look at that. Ooh. Oh. Beautiful. That looks so good. And then if you take that off the heat, I'll stir in the flour. Oh. Looking excellent. I've never actually had cookies this way before. No, it looks this really looks delicious. juicy, shiny. Look, it's already like firming it's up, really isn't it? It's really thickened up, isn't it? So let's get those chocolate chips in and then pop it into the yeah. fridge. It's gonna be really nice. These little pops of white sticking out. They're like little nice... gems, aren't they? They are little gems. And hopefully when we bake this cookie, they will go a little bit melty. Yeah. I don't think this will need to be in the fridge for too long. So should we just say like five, 10 minutes? Yeah, five, 10 minutes. Okay, let's, go let's do it. that now. The cookie batter looks like it's firmed up nice and Nice and firm now. Our oven is preheated. So do you want to grab those uh, baking trays? I'm going to grab these and we just want to scoop large teaspoons of the mixture onto our baking tray. Okay, cool. Now it says here that it makes 10 sandwiches. So quick maths. Quick maths. We need 20 cookies, don't we? Yeah. Oh, really thick. Okay, that's way too big. You said a teaspoon. <laughs> teaspoon and the rest. So basically, I was gonna eat this, this bit on the side. is a teaspoon and these are these fancy teaspoons. So I personally think this is a large teaspoon. Oh, right. So, because we've got to make so 20 what, like, out of it. So what, like literally that minute? <laughs> Last recipe we did together anyway, yours were better than mine, weren't they? I've been practicing. It's all about the underdog. Everyone loves the underdog story. No one likes it, you know, on those videos online where it's like professional versus amateur. Yeah, no one everyone... likes it when the professional wins. Everyone wants to see the amateur show the professional up. Yeah, they do actually, don't they? Yeah. So, some of mine look a bit uneven, so I'm just going to take some bits off to make sure they're nice and even because it's a sandwich. You want to be trying to get cookies yeah. that are the same sort of size. Good point. That is our first batch. These can go into the oven. They take about 15 minutes. So I would say 10 minutes, have a look and see um, how they go from there, so. Great. Into the oven we go. Into the oven we go. Into, Into the, the oven, oven we go. <laughs> so the great thing about this recipe is while our cookies are baking, we can actually make the salted caramel sauce. I'm still impressed there's a sauce with these. I know. That's I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> like taking it to the next just level. Just salted caramel. Like, you want to make anything just better than it already is, just salted caramel. Salted caramel. Oh, I'm not sure, right, if I'm going to pop mine on top. I might do mine in a little dish next to it and I can bite my sandwich and I can dip oh, it in. That could like be a little good sauce. actually. Be good. So we've got some soft light brown sugar. This is a really good sugar for caramel. It gives it that really nice flavour, doesn't it? Yeah. We've got some unsalted butter. Now you'll have to let us know down below, are you team caramel or Salted caramel. I'm salted caramel all the way. For something like this, definitely salted caramel yeah. for me. I just don't know why you wouldn't. It just brings that extra yeah, little really bit does. of flavor. Mm. And then the final thing to put into the caramel sauce is some double cream. This is what's gonna make it really rich and delicious. So just over a nice low heat, we're gonna let that melt together until that sugar has dissolved, mm. bring up the heat. And it says to let it bubble for two to three minutes. So. Let's get going. We're near the end. We're so close We're and so I cannot close. wait to try these. Yeah. I'm really excited to try this ice cream because if it is good, it's the simplest it's way so simple. I've ever heard of making ice yeah. cream. Was well, it literally three ingredients? Three ingredients. Three ingredients and one of them is vanilla extract. Whipped together and in the freezer, done. Oh my word, you know how we put vanilla extract in? Yeah. I wonder if you could switch up the extract. Just chocolate extract. 
Look how nice this is looking. Yeah, that's looking really like caramelly. Caramelly. We just want to say a huge thank you to the guys at Sensodyne for teaming up with us for this video. It's been really nice actually hearing what you guys thought about Sensodyne and how many of you actually use it. Yeah, because it's really great to hear how many people use it and it really helps yeah. them eat the food. Like we're saying, eat colder food, eat spicy food. Yeah. Use Sensodyne Repair and Protect Whitening twice daily for sensitivity relief and white teeth. This has really turned oh, into yeah, a sauce right really there. it really has. It's just turned that corner. And how you can tell if those sugar granules are gone, you actually just want to rub like the spatula along the bottom. Is there still a yeah, little bit still there? Some still there, some there, but, but almost so done. close. This is smelling amazing. The sugar has fully dissolved, hasn't it? Yeah. So now we're going to turn that heat up and let that bubble for a couple minutes. Should we grab those cookies? I think let's get those cookies out now. It's been almost 15 minutes, but ours are quite small and they're looking brown around the edges. Yeah, they look really good. And they're also going to firm up when we cool them on a cooling rack here. Yeah, I think they're looking really nice. A little bit brown around the edges. Looks like they're nice and golden. Nice and crispy on the edge, hopefully. So we should nice have soft a nice crisp mm. edge. Chewy in the middle. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they smell great as they well. They do smell really good. Oh, I think Kate's um, previous baking experience has helped her in the um, consistency of shape and size department. They do look more, but I think yours has some good uh, character. Yeah. I think you, you've really come up trumps on this one. Y yours look like they've just come out of the sausage factory, like, oh, hello, next one. <laughs> <laughs> no personality. <laughs> <laughs> the personality is the person who cooked them. Yeah. Added a bit of must personality yeah. in there. Quirky. Drizzle of the uh, Quirky. salted caramel. Speaking and, of, um, how is that? Yeah, looking really good. So now we can take that off the heat, let it cool, and assemble our cookie sandwiches. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry I now. I can't wait to try this. <laughs> looking nice. What a dream to have a whole Dreamy. bowl <laughs> of it's caramel. It's like a bowl of soup. Does it smell good? Yeah, it smells amazing. Well, do you know what I'm going to do first, actually? I'm going to pick my cookies. Oh, good thinking. Is the ice cream looking very nice? That looks really good. Is yeah. that cling film going to come off? Yeah, I think so. Ooh, that's a really good trick. Look, no like ice crystals yeah. at all. I think that must have been why we did that. <laughs> I think you're not, you're like getting hungry for I'm that because you're like <laughs> ready to eat. Okay, here goes. Tease that off there. Look at that though, isn't that insane? This is my technique. Oh yeah, that's good huh? I might just manipulate that a bit with the back of my... Look at that beast. Wow. Oh, that, looks nice on this side. that does look good huh? Look at that. What do you think to that? Any takers? Takers? Mmm. <laughs> this is so high. Oh, wow. Drizzle some on yours? Yep. I was thinking about turning mine to the side and drizzling, but I like what you've just done there. Mine's that like looks a waterfall. so form. good. This is making me so hungry. I can't wait to try this. Although I've left no room for my hand. For your hand, yeah. You ready? Uh, you gonna give it a go? Yeah. <laughs> Don't burn your hand. <laughs> Oh, look at that! Cheers, Al. Cheers. I like your technique there of how to get uh. the ice cream. Wow. <laughs> that is so good. Mm. Really good cookie. Mm. What do you think? Mm. The cookie's so chewy. The salted caramel just adds so much to that, doesn't it? That is so think? amazing. Might do a little dip. The um, the cookie is chewy. What we had said, you know, mm. crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. That ice cream is like part melting, and then that salted caramel drizzle. That is the icing on the cake, isn't uh -huh. it? Uh mm. huh. I'm an animal. What a stellar recipe! It's so good, isn't it? Mm. Sensodyne, you have done it again. Yeah, that's another amazing recipe. All those layers, like we said, come together to make the perfect ice mm -hmm. cream sandwich. We made that ice cream ourselves. We made that. And it was so simple and quick to make. Yeah. And then the salted caramel on top 
just really finishes well, off. Well, really, it was all quick to make. Mm. And I suppose if you make this and you don't want the caramel yeah. or you don't want the Oscar the cookie, <laughs> of course you'd want the cookie. Well, but you I'm could just, just have the ice cream with the salted caramel. You could just have the ice cream with the salted caramel. There's so much you can mm. take from this and then just joy separately, which yeah. is absolutely amazing. So Sensodyne, once again, thank you for such an epic recipe. Yeah, and remember, you don't have to cope with sensitive teeth mm -hmm. and enjoy the foods and drinks you love if you're using Sensodyne. And don't forget, guys we will be leaving a link down below where you can check out this recipe and recreate it yourself at home but we hope you guys enjoyed watching and we'll see you soon bye guys see ya